Lord. Please, madam, calm down. They just went inside. I'm sure they started the operation. Just calm down, okay? I want to know if he's still alive, please. I said, calm down. You are disturbing my patients. There's a space upstairs. You can't stay here. I think you should go there. Please, just go. <laughs> the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall do it. Jehovah El Shaddai. 
Jehovah Elohim. Oh, Father, I give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Oh, I bless your holy name. Amen. Oh, I exalt you, Lord. We give you all the glory. Give you all the Is there anything else I can do for you? No, you may leave. Thank you, sir. my childhood friend and the heir apparent to the throne of my town. And Prince, this is the Tessie. Tessie is the hottest in the world of education. And she is my fiance. Wow. My pleasure. Same here. Same here. I've heard so much about you. It's so nice to meet you at last. Oh. He said so many beautiful things about you. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Oh, take the weight off your bed. Like Looks like we're celebrating. <coughs> oh, yes. Um, Ephraim? Ephraim? Yes, please. Give me two glasses. I think one will do. I wouldn't want to drink anything. Are you sure? Yeah. So, to what are we celebrating? Uh, look, I'll tell you this. I've been involved in 
all kinds of operations in the past, but what I did today, I don't know, I can't just... The guy almost slipped through my fingers, but God was faithful. He was saved at last. Right. <laughs> what a coincidence. That makes it two of us. We saved a life too. <laughs> the guy was up for a death sentence, but we pulled him out. Wow. He was, I'll tell you, oh, he was God. really tough. Oh, so will life save us? Yes. Like the Jews will say, La Chain remains to life. To hell. And to long life. Yes. <laughs> You didn't tell me your girl looks so pretty. Oh, Tessie, she's such a wonderful person. She's not only fine here, she's fine here. Oh. She's not such a wonderful person. That's my heart, man. Uh, Prince, I say that she's going to be staying with us for a while. Okay, okay. All right, it's not a problem. Look, Tessie, see this place as your home. Just feel very free around here, okay? You see this guy here? It's close to my soul. So. My man from way back. <laughs> He's my personal prince. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, most of Look, I'm oh, really. Let me take her upstairs. Show her around. Okay. I'll be with you in the G fit. Thank you. No, I mean, just look that way. Oh. Call the servants to get my luggage from the taxi. of child theft and then he made us believe that he was in how is my royal highness who are you and what are you doing sitting with my prince it is not what you think no what i think is that you should get the hell out of this house There's no need for you to blow your tops. That's Tessie. Tessie is my fiance. She's here to spend some time with us. Oh, spending some time with us? She's a fiance, yeah? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Lagos is such a stressful city. I had a hectic day today at the Nelson Council. Oh, damn the traffic. It was crazy. My friends, you already made me stand under the sun with some low-life nurses. Then after I had to go sit for this exam, all because I want to qualify as a nurse. I mean, print. people like me should not go through all of this. I shouldn't suffer like this. What do you think? You have to look at it. darling. Mm. Good afternoon. I mean, this stand has a way of making someone lose her manners. But the good thing is that when I get married to my friends, I will not have to work or do any kind of hustle. You know, kids is good for people to work and a living, you know? Oh, come on, darling. Our daily bread has already been provided by your father. All we have to do is sit and enjoy. Oh, my God. I'm famished. Servants! Where are the servants in this house? Servants! Oh God, I'm so 
I mean, that's kid for you, sis. Just so full of life. That's Kate. She's my fiance. Hope she didn't embarrass you. Not at all. She's just fine. You see, baby, Kate, Kate, Kate is just a wonderful person. She's, she's just so lively. She is. Kate is just. Kate is just Kate. My thanks. Can you imagine there's no spaghetti in this house? There's no spaghetti, you sound of all bunch of nuisance. I get a whole packet of spaghetti and I can't even find a single one. They all. I wonder who ate them up. Who ate them up without even leaving a single strand? I have a feeling that something is going on in this house. But I'm going to make it right. As well, be friends. I mean, a girl needs a girlfriend. Don't you agree? Sure. Every girl needs a girlfriend. My friend, fast, hurry up! No offense. I need to see the good book. Tessie? It's us. You're a lawyer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer, lawyer. So tell me, how was law school? I mean, I heard you people read and read and read and read and you don't have time for anything. Not at Did all. Did you have fun? Of course I had fun. It's not all work, work, work. Um, we enjoyed ourselves. We went binging the girls. We had fun. And nothing with the boys? Because for me, I consider it a total waste of womanhood when girls go doing everything by themselves. Well, at that time, most of the girls were married. Mm -hmm. And then those of us that were not married were engaged, so... Engaged? Yes. Come on. Being engaged does not tie a woman to the chains of matrimony. You know what I mean. Well, I was not that adventurous. Pardon me. So, um, you are the barrister. Mm -hmm. But um, how are you guys coping? I mean, what are your plans, both of you? A lot. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of plans. The excitement of marriage. We have a lot of plans. And then the challenges of motherhood. And any time I think about the fact that we want to open and run a firm together, a law firm, there's this lot of excitement whenever I think about it. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> It sounds uh, exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. But um, instead of opening a, a law firm, don't you think it's better you get a house of your own? I mean, oh, well, that, that, that's just my candid advice. But I think you kind of have a way of planning your life. One thing I don't seem to understand is why do your career women work so hard where it is the duty of a man to put food on the table? Well, even the Bible said so. Well, for me, I am going to relax, get married to my prince, and enjoy my life. Maybe later on I can set up something like a, a first lady kind of office where I can help the less privileged people. Yeah. It must be exciting getting married to a prince. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> it's splendid. I mean, which girl wouldn't want to get married to a prince? It has always been my childhood dream since when I was a little girl. I used to read stories about Cinderella, prince and princesses. And since I come from a royal family and I'm engaged to the prince of my land, very soon 
I am going to be the queen. And what a happy ending to all my, oh God, and fantasies. Fantasies. Beautiful. You're not drinking. Oh. Oh, um, hey, 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 please don't get intimidated by me. I mean, since you're going to be staying with us for a while, you can as well enjoy some royal treatment and privileges. I know you're not used to them, but it's all right. So anything you need, just call the servants. They're at your back and call. Mm -hmm. Okay? Relax, okay? <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Just sit down. Thank you. Yeah. That was a good medical work. You know why? Because a new referee for obstructed hernia is one of the toughest tasks for surgeons you make. Dr. Joe, how long have you been practicing now? Two years. Two years. I know, don't just let it get into your head. After all, you should know that it is the job of the doctors to save lives, okay? Oh, of course, I know that, uh, absolutely. That's good. And moreover, the, all the glory goes to your father, who put you through the best medical school and brought you into this caliber of hospital to work. Um, well, I, I agree with you to a given extent. Um, yes, my father has done his own bit by training me, but I equally think that I, um, I'm equally contributing to society, to humanity, uh, through the various works I've been doing medically. You think so? I know so, sir. Anyway, you may be right, you may be wrong, but that doesn't change my opinion. You may go. Childhood friend. So, what's the problem? Unburden your heart. I'm listening. Kate's Kate. What about Kate? You know, in a few months' time, we should get him married. You know, I just have this this ill feeling deep inside me. That the marriage will be a disaster. I can understand. But the question is, uh, why did you get on with her in the first place? That's the problem. Kate is my father's arrangement. Yes. You know, the more I think about it, the more angry, you know, uh, the more angry I become. You know, my father tries to run everything about my life. Everything. Over pampering, over bearing, over protective, over everything. As if I don't have a mind of my own. Is it, is it from my, is, is it my primary days? Or is it my secondary or my university? Everything about me, my father has tried to dip his hand in. When I was posted for my youth service, I was posted to Soko to sit. I was so excited that I was going to travel out. Travel somewhere I can just be my own man. But what happened? He killed the joy too. Got me posted to Lagos. The only thing he's not done is, is force me to where, I mean, force me to walk where I'm walking right now. That's the only thing he, he's not done in my life. 
whatever that thing is, just trying to. I'm just tired. Is it is it a crime to be a prince? Okay, it's okay. You're getting over a traumatic. Quit feeling bad. Good because you're really feeling bad. But there's one thing I know. I know Kate has her own fault. But I believe that if you make up your mind to love her, everything is going to be okay. All you just have to do is make her see things from your point of view. Uh, you know, she's just beautiful and elegant, you know. Look, there's much more to marriage than a beauty and elegance. Look, Kate is vain and shallow. Very shallow. Look, don't pretend you don't see what's happening around here. No, 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 no. see, calm down. You see, there's one thing I always tell people. All you just have to do is make her see things from your point of view. She's not as bad as you think. Kate is incorrigible. She's incorrigible. Look at your girl, Tessie. You guys are not married. See how, how intelligent she is. You see, I understand your plight, but there's one thing I always tell people as a lawyer. You see, when, when, when you let things be, they have a way of sorting themselves out. Look, look at you, your, your shadow of yourself. No, look, it's, it's difficult for me to relax. Look, I'm talking about, this is a, a life thing. Marriage is not something you can step in and step out. Once you get in, you're there. Look, I don't want to go through a divorce home. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm just saying is relax. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to fall into, fall into place. You're getting yourself worked up for nothing. You know, I, I don't even blame the kid. I don't blame the kid. Put all the blame on my dad. It is. Just relax, please. Doctor Joe, sir, you have just been promoted to the position of assistant medical director. From today, you will be assisting me. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is I quite... only hope that you will live up to the expectation of the management board that took this decision and the standard of this hospital. You can count on me. Thank you. You're welcome. To the newest and the youngest medical director in the country. We say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, I wish I really um, um, knew how to react or knew how to react to this whole stuff because the medical director was was quite sarcastic while giving me the uh, promotion letter. My prince, if you will ask me. I will say that since the promotion came from above him, I, I, I will say it goes to show that the people from the IS quarter appreciate your work and your hard work as a medical doctor. So enjoy your position, man. But do they really have a choice? He would have gotten it anyway. But I don't understand why we're celebrating over the fact that he got promoted as an assistant, medical director, or whatever you call it. It's not a big deal. You can't compare that to his God given position as a future king of our kingdom. On the contrary, I think um, it calls for celebration. The post of the assistant medical director in a hospital of that standard is a real big professional achievement. At his age. Exactly, at his age. And I think you're very lucky, my dear. You know, he has it all, the brains, the good looks, and then the wealth. To top it all, he's a prince. You are very lucky. Of course, I know that. I'm equally a princess. But the good thing is that I have him all to myself. <laughs> you guys are such a perfect match. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, have you told Igwe about it? Um, does he need to know about this? <laughs> what does that mean? Call my Igwe and tell him all about it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, hello. Hello, Dad. Ah! How are you, my son? I'm fine, Dad. Uh, Dad, I just got promoted to the post of Assistant Medical Director. Oh, my God. 
Isn't this wonderful? Mm. Oh, come on. Congratulations, my son. Mm. This is lovely. This calls for a celebration. You know what? Enter the next flight and come home. But Dad, I, I, I don't think that is very necessary. Don't worry. The expenses are not on you. I'm going to take care of everything. Yes. I insist. Even your mother agrees with me. All right, okay. Um, I'll be there. All right, then. See you then. Bye. Oh, this is great. Mr. Smith! Double congratulations, Mr. Smith! Guess what? What? My dad wants me to come home. You know, he wants to have a party for me because of this. Yes. No. What celebrating? Exactly. We all should enjoy from the fruits of our labor. Yeah. I know my friends. Were you trying to refuse the Igwe's invitation to have a party for us? Of course you know I wouldn't forgive you for that. Did you do it? Uh, no, no, not just hold it. This is my friend, so I talk on this behalf. My friend is just being modest. <laughs> 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 Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you all. You're very nice, very nice. Enjoy your stay in this uh, kingdom. I think so. I assure you that. <laughs> ah, yes. It's really nice. That is my swimming pool. I'll take you around later. Okay? That's good. I invited you today to eat and drink with me because my own son has been made the assistant medical director of the second largest hospital in Lagos. <laughs> ha! Igwe! <laughs> oh yes. So, I am presenting this jeep to him because it's the only car that will befit his new status. It's all yours. Congratulations. Thank you, Daddy. But I already have enough cars in Vegas. <laughs> I told you this. I told you this earlier. <laughs> you can see how humble your son is. He is a very humble man. But not to worry, son. Um, add this to your fleet. After all, you are the son of a king. Come on. The prince himself. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, son. Congratulations. Two. It's all yours. Congratulations. Oh, yes. This guy is for us. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. 
Thank you too. Thank you, Mom. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, the celebration continues. Yeah. 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 How are you getting ready for your traditional marriage? Um, I'm getting ready. Very good, because I have instructed all the pan wine tapas in my great kingdom and beyond. I've asked them to keep all the drinks they will have on that day. Because it's going to be very, very grandiose, you know? And I don't know, no believer. Hmm? If I want more, oh yeah, you too good. I'm not going to see it. So I say, well, um, that aside, I scheduled a visiting day. It will be off in the hour tomorrow. And I want you to come with me. Um, Dad, I would have loved to come, but I have so many patients waiting for me in Lagos. I must return tomorrow. <laughs> uh, no, Papa. You see, um, you and this, your professionalism. To me, you already educated, huh? a, a, a well-trained uh, medical doctor, for that matter. Huh? Even now, an assistant uh, medical director of the largest hospital in Lagos. Look, no, no. You're educated already. But you see, um, it's high time you started learning the ropes. You know you are a prince, a king in waiting. In fact, you're already a king. So when you learn the act, this is the time. So please, I insist you must come with me tomorrow. Well, Dad, um... I like to learn the ropes, but I just wish you can give me some time, some years to um, practice. You know, I, I love medicine, Dad. It's my passion when, when I see a life saved. Just, I love being a doctor. I love to help humanity. I still time to lend the ropes, Dad. You should stop wasting your time with these people over there. This is the time you will bend down to lend the ropes. Yes. As a matter of fact, you are now assistant medical director. You don't supposed to see patients even for now. Oh, yes. How can you compare kinship with ordinary doctor? to pay the hospital bills. The corpse of my wife is now in the mortuary here. Where do I run to? Who is there to help me? Ah. Is, is, is the MD aware of this? Yes, he is.
Debts are hereby cancelled. Thank you, sir. Take that to the accountant. He knows what to do. Thank you. One more. Accountant said you authorized this. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Mm. Could you rationalize it for me, or in the, the fact that uh, the patient was still owing us the sum of 30,000 naira? Well, sir, um, you see, actually what happened here is this man in question just lost his wife. Mm -hmm. This man in question had funeral arrangements to make. Mm -hmm. This man in question was equally saddled with a motherless infant to nurse. Mm -hmm. How much more can one human being take? You seem to forget that this is a hospital, not a charity home. Yes, you're right, sir. But, but I, I was taught that hospitality is all about compassion and love. Look, don't get on my nerves, little boy. You have just cost us a huge sum of money and I hear women logic. Who authorized you to discharge the patient? Well, I used my initiative as the assistant medical director of this hospital. An assistant medical director of food? What initiative do you think you have and who made you an assistant medical director? Do you think you are qualified to be assistant medical director? Eh? What initiative do you think you have? You are a non-starter, little boy. If I'm a non-starter, how come I got promoted ahead of every everybody else here? By grace, little boy. By grace. So everything I am, everything I've attained so far in life, is a result of hard work. You are wrong. You are wrong. Is it your admission into university that you worked for? Or is it your employment into this hospital that you worked for? Or is it the fact that you live in a mansion in Ikoi? Or the fact that you ride one of the costless cars? You have lived under the influence of your family. Look, what is it that you have against me? What, I, what is it that you have against me? What I have against you is that you are against so much success yourself. Why in the actual sense you are living under the influence of your father? Yes, your father the magnet. Your father the billionaire. Your father the Igwe. Yes. Your father, the chairman and chief executive of this company, of this hospital. Why don't you for one minute accept the fact that you have been living under his influence? That you have not worked enough to no. be able to stop enough, enough of this. Look, I have worked my boy up to be whoever I am today. That's Look, do not misconstrue my being a gentleman as a sign of witness. I have warned you. I have been my enough of this. this. Point. No, I will not take you it. You don't have any right to take decision in this hospital. Who take you? How take you? Who take you? What kind of rubbish is this? Dr. I told you every day that you hear that it is my office. No, and no, said no. I'm out there now. Look, if you do not respect yourself, I will respect you. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? In my office. Oh, please, look, look, look. I have respected you now, and if you do not value it, I will throw it into the bins. Get out of my Don't. Look, Prince or no Prince, you will not like me when I get out of son. I said, leave my office. I don't want any of this. No, it's enough. Get out! Somebody is owing us 90,000 and he, 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 he,
Santo. Take that away. So I should take it away. Take it away. There I met um, some guy that called himself Chief Long John. I said, really? He was trying to chat me up and stuff. I said, oh, so you're a chief? Well, I am a princess, Princess Kate. And very soon I'll be getting married to Prince of Obuluku Kingdom. Please. And they were like, okay, maybe I can just pay for your shopping and all that. I said, pay for my shopping? How dare you say that? Do, do I look like a beggar? Do I look like a beggar to you? Like, no, no, just get out of this place. And they go like, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Darling, I gave it to him. <laughs> I mean, you know, this your wife is a tough one. I gave it to him. But I don't blame him, you know, I'm a hot chick. But the only good thing is, I'm only hot for my friends. What do you think, darling? Print. Uh, what do you say? Oh, my God, Print. Where is your mind? Oh, whoa, whoa, whatever. Well, I have to go pack some things for my trip and everything. So let's take it easy, darling. Mm. And I think to her, life is too short. Just cooking. Yes. There's a special dish I want to make for everybody. It's lovely. I'm sure you would love it. Tasty. My mom taught me how to make it when I was a little girl. Oh, really? Yes. I can see you have um, tomatoes. Yes. Oh, tomatoes and vegetables and onions and then some curry. Oh. And to prepare some special whatever you call it. What is so special about this crap you're trying to do? For Christ's sake, there are servants in this house. There are cooks, chef, steward, name them. That's your beck and call. 
Oh, you're trying to prove a point to somebody. <laughs> Listen, whatever your motives are, you will never succeed. And until you leave this house, don't you dare go beyond the store. Lawyer Cook who did. Nonsense. They that sit in the darkness have seen a great light. And what light have you seen? Light of truth. Light of revelation. Do you know that everything I have worked for, everything I thought I had achieved so far in life, is as a result of somebody's grace? And by whose grace, if I may ask? My father. It's so painful. You know, I'm worthless. I'm no good. Oh, this is really surprising. Where, where, where is all this coming from? Dr. Aka. The medical director. He told me some hard truth. Do you know that my father owns the hospital in which I work? I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? That I was promoted to become the, uh, the assistant medical director. Can't you? It makes so much sense. I'm a you're fake! Not, no, 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 you're not I'm fake. I'm just a fake! You're not fake. No, Prince the fake. See, just call me from now on, Prince fake. Please. Prince, you're not a fake. I know please. you're my friend. Prince, you're not fake. I know how disillusion one can feel to discover things that are not too palatable about oneself. But the facts still remain the fact that you deserve everything you get. I know you, I'm your friend. I see how you work. You're a hard-working doctor. And the facts still remain the fact that the equal is your father. And that does not take away from, from, from who you are. He's my father. But I'm a worthless son. My prince, you're taking this thing too far. You're, you're taking it too far. It is not as bad as you think. It is that bad. You don't understand because you don't know how I feel inside. To know that you're a fake. This man, good to see Doctor you again. Is a purple. Now, what for you? Wow, Hi. it's so good to see yeah. you. Yeah, please get out of the way, Doctor Joe. You're not a big boy, man. <laughs> yeah. man. So, how you doing? I'm fine. Wow, Hi. what are you doing in um, copper's uniform? But, uh, I was supposed to be serving, you know, and uh, I came back from abroad. You know, after our graduation, I traveled abroad for bringing up action. When I'm here into this country and this place is that I must have. And here am I with this uniform. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like Methuselah in primary you school. Started it again. You started it again. It's not changed. Yeah? Wow. So, uh, so where are you serving? In one of the primary health centers, they said if I were a what? What if I going to Ipada? All those places. But I can't go there, you know. I'm not supposed to go there because. You know, I have a, a scholarship, you know, to do my master's degree in public health there in Dublin. So that can be possible. I have to go So back. how do you intend to combine I the two? I cannot lose that opportunity. Yeah. In fact, my intention now is probably to abandon the NYSC or I lobby the liaison officers, whoever it is, 
you know, to cover me while I'm gone. Won't the inspectors find out when they come for inspection? Well, my fact that the inspectors come once in a year. I have nothing to lose. I have to go back probably. I have nothing to lose at all. I have to go back. So I'm saying, yeah, this is a hell of high on me. So where did you say you were posted again? Um, one of these remote villages called uh, Ifewara. As if you're going towards it by the Ileife Expressway to Ileisha or whatever. I've not been there and I'm not intending going there. Well, um... <laughs> I wish you, I wish you all the best, I wish you all the best. Yeah. Um, um, yes. Do you realize that until a snake sheds its skin, it cannot be born again? Uh, yes, yes, that's true. You know, you know, a lot of times people want to go to hell, yet they do not want to die. that death must be embraced with a smile so that heaven will be filled with joy. There must be death for life to come. My friends, what, what is all this talk about death and heaven? Do you want to die? Death is inevitable. I don't understand what you're trying to say. drive through that gate. I, it's always an ordeal for me. I have butterflies in my Maybe stomach. Let me start it again. No. Yes, there is absolutely no problem staying here. Sweetheart, we cannot continue to live here. I know. It's obvious we are not needed here. I Your know. friend is fine. He's cool. But Kate is breathing down our neck every second. Yeah, How can just, we continue to possibly stay here? You just, Baby, the problem is that you cannot see from my point of view. Prince is my childhood friend. He lives here alone. And I can assure you that if I should go upstairs to his room now and tell him that I'm moving out of this place, he's going to be very, very angry. There's, there's absolutely no problem staying here. If it's, if, 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 it's for, if it's for Kate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the inconvenience. I'm sorry. I understand that you people are childhood friends. I know you have lived together all your lives. But for crying out loud, that is the woman in his life. Two hours out of this place. That one is impossible. <laughs> I can assure you, I can assure you that. Prince is my friend and he's the owner of the house. So you have no problem. There's absolutely no problem. Is that okay, baby? Don't bother yourself. You're just bothering your head for nothing. It will never come to that, baby. Put a smile on that face. So just get your mic
Odo! Sir! What on, sir? Where's the prince? He's not here back from us. Um, what is this phone doing there? Did you go to work with it? It has been ringing all day, sir. I don't know. Even his cars are parked outside. That's, that's rather strange. Where's Ephraim? He's in the kitchen, sir. Ephraim! Sir! Wake up, sir. Wake Have you up, seen sir. the prince today? I haven't seen him. It was this morning. That's strange. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. You guys can go. Do you think there's a problem? It's just strange. I've been trying to call him too and his phone was ringing no response. Let's go upstairs. like that. You can see for yourself that he left of his own free will. So this has nothing to do with oh, us. Oh, please don't even give him that crap. Of course, both of you have everything to do with it. First, your lovey-dovey here tried to corner him for herself. Me? There was no such thing. Oh, shut up. You think I don't know what goes on in this house? Is that what you think? But let me tell you something. If this is a plot to get him out of the way in order to inherit his properties, mm -hmm. well, you have another thing coming. I, I can't believe you're saying all this. What kind of a reckless talk is that? Oh, really? Well, wait till I come back to this house, then you know what recklessness is all about. Nonsense. Paris. Paris. I don't even know what you're doing in this house in the first place. But don't worry. This next thing. My face is appeared and you don't know where he is. What are you doing? Come on, you're open that yet. Stupid bitch. You're in this house. Open the gate. Look at him. You're in this house and my face disappeared. Monkey. How do you put up with her? Down, woman, calm down. I should calm down? Yes. Why should I calm down? My prince has been missing for days and you're telling me to calm down? Dr. Akai, do you have a wife? Of course I do. Oh, really? Then imagine that your wife was kidnapped by some gang of criminals with a phrase, calm down, make any meaning to you when you know what they'll be doing to her every person second in turn. Listen, listen, boy. Dr. Joe is not kidnapped by a gang of rapists or, or, or what, what, what? Well, I feel worse than if he was kidnapped by some gang of criminals. that you don't even care about the welfare of your staff. But you know something. If my prince do not return, you and your family will have no peace. It is not a threat. It's, it's a promise. F on you. Is that what you say? F on you. Igwe. It is me, princess. Anyway, the prince is missing, you know. The prince is missing. I have not seen him for days. Of course I'm saying the truth. He's missing. I don't know where his barista friend and his girlfriend kept him, including the MD of this of, of, of your hospital. Of course I'm in the hospital. I'm comforting him. And, and he's, he, he's carefree about it. He said he doesn't know. Igwe, we have to do something far before something happens to him. I'm very, very concerned. Escape? They dare not. Nobody dares escape. I'll definitely make sure of that. Okay. 
No problem, okay? Okay. Now, doctor. Over one week? Yes, sir. And nobody told me about this. We thought you knew about his absence, sir. Okay, you may go. Thank you, sir. Hello. Your Royal Highness, sir. Yeah, I, it, yes, yes, it is me, Dr. Aka. I, I, please, I, I want to know if Dr. Joe is there with you in the village. Okay, he's not. Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. He has not been to the office for over one week now. No, no, no. Not even the barrister. Hello? 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 So, Romanus, so you had this letter, you had this letter for two weeks and you did not deem it necessary to let me know, Romanus. I didn't know what to make of it, I, but besides, I was afraid. Oh, please, 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 hey, don't even use that word and don't try to act innocent here, okay? Anyway, maybe if you take him to the police station, this truth will come out of him. Look at both of them. They're all behind us. You think I don't know? Kate, you know there's no truth in what you're saying. Let me hear myself! Shut up! Shut up! Romanus! I shall deal with you later. Much later, Romanus! And you, Dr. Aka. How did my son come to the knowledge of all this? How did my son come to the knowledge of these things? Well, well, Your Highness, uh, it wasn't intentional. Uh, we had a little misunderstanding, that was all. Over what? Over what? Dr. Aka? In my absence and without my permission, he released uh, a, a patient that was still owing the hospital some money. How much? How much? 30,000. Uh, hmm. Can you listen to this man? So, because of 30,000 naira, my own money! You decided to humiliate my own son. You are prince. You are prince. 30,000 naira. My money. You are fired. From this moment. I mean, you are finished. And you, go out there and report a case of missing persons at the nearest police station. Now! I wonder why they have not even done it since. And you call yourselves lawyers. Lawyer, my friend. Do that now! I want to set up a firm. Blah, blah, blah. You, you have not even bought a house or rented a house for yourself. Nonsense. What are you waiting for? You are a liar! The Prince of Apollo! Never. Never. <sighs> what are you still waiting for? Do you go and sleep? What are you? What are you? Oh, no, please, please, just leave this house. Please. Please. Give love a chance to rain Give love a chance to prove itself What can we strive together? Let no man put us under Oh, it's a destiny
saw Romanus. So you had this letter. You had this letter for two weeks and you did not deem it necessary to let me know. Romanus. I didn't know what to make of it. I, but besides, I was afraid. Oh, please, please, please. Hey, don't even use that word. And don't try to act innocent here, okay? Anyway, maybe if you take him to the police station, this truth will come out of him. Look at both of them. They're all behind us. What do you think I don't know? Kate, you know there's no truth in what you're saying. Let me hear myself. Shut up! Shut up! Romance. I shall deal with you later. Much later, Romanus. And you, Dr. Aka, how did my son come to the knowledge of the, all this? How did my son come to the knowledge of these things? Well, well, Your Highness, uh, it wasn't intentional. Uh, we had a little misunderstanding, that was all. Over what? Over what, Dr. Aka? In my absence and without my permission, he released uh, a, a patient that was still owing the hospital some money. How much? How much? 30,000. You listen to this man. So, because of 30,000 naira, my own money, you decided to humiliate my own son. You are prince. You are prince. 30,000 naira, my money. You are fired from this moment. I mean, you are finished. And you, go out there and report a case of missing persons at the nearest police station. Now! I wonder why they have not even done it since. And you call yourselves lawyers. Lawyer, my friend. Do that now! I want to set up a firm. Blah, blah, blah. You, you have not even bought a house or rented a house for yourself. Nonsense. What are you waiting for? You are a lawyer! The Prince of Obolo. Are you the person that wrote this report? Yes, officer. What is your relationship with the missing person? Uh, the prince is my childhood friend and we share the same apartment. So, it is possible you were the last person that saw him? Uh, yes, because I asked the servant, he said I didn't see him that morning, so it is possible. Okay. What dress was he seen last year? I think he was wearing a blue and Tara and a black chain. Black chain, yes. Okay. You know. Yes, first. Include this inside this one.
Please sign. Yeah. Sign it. If you touch it. anything about this case and there's even no evidence that anything has gone wrong. We just came to make a report like all normal citizens will do. Uh, look, look, look here, officer. Uh, see, you're not dealing with a novice here. I'm a lawyer and I know my right. <laughs> Mr. Nandi, or whatever you call yourself, being a lawyer or not is immaterial. A human life is involved here. A grown-up man is missing. Officer, the man stated that he wanted to be left alone. People take what? The man just wanted to be left alone. He wrote it down in that letter. You're a lawyer too? Of course I am. <laughs> no one did. But two of you should have known that anyone could have written that letter, for all we know. You two should think like lawyers for us. Or do you think Igwe does not know why he asked you to come and make the report yourself? How did you know that Igwe asked us to come make a statement? That is immaterial for now. Sergeant! Do your work. He's telling him. Somebody should tell me what is happening. What is going on Officer, what is happening? No, I'll move, I'll move, I'll move. Baby, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay, so you just relax. What is the meaning of all this? Yes. Sit down there. Yes. 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 I didn't want you to make any phone call there. What or is your problem? Hey, shh, shh, shh. Where are you? You talk. You want to go down without the same day? Are you talking to me? Oh, no, no, no. You're just a gun. My friend, my friend, what's the problem with you? What, what are you talking to my wife? Like I don't make sense. You shut up. Why sit down there? You need to talk to your lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I know my right. Know my right. Well, what, what's the problem with you people? No, See, the only reason I'm taking this thing cool is because my friend is involved and his father is behind all this. No, no. And I know my right. What is happening here? Mr. Nanda, whatever you call yourself, why are you making that you are not the officer? The only reason I'm taking this thing cool is because my friend is involved and my and his father is behind this. Will you sit down? Sweetheart, please just sit down. I said sit down! Do you know the gravity of this case? This is a case of conspiracy. I've got you. And I've tried for This can land you just for life. And I hear making noise. Let me hear you make noise again, then I'll show you my true color. Rubbish.
that yet? Not at all. How could the film sit? <laughs> what about a suction machine? No, Doctor. We don't do major operations here, Doctor. Just the minor ones. Can imagine. Um, but you have um, things like gauze, surgical blades. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have, have a few of them, yes. You have stones. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, that should do it. <laughs> Community. Yes, it does. It does. Though we have limited equipment. But well, what is better than nothing? Well, what's the what's your assessment of uh, patient's inflow here? Uh, don't know. Um, as you can see, the whole village depends on this health center. And uh, most times we run short of drugs. And uh, we don't have ambulances. Should there be any emergency, the patient is taken to the nearest city, which is Ibadan. Ibadan? Yes. Wow. So Otherwise, we are managing. Kabisi. Kabisi. He is um, Dr. You're welcome. Kabisi. He's a purple. Ah. Yes, is he also from Igbo land? Yes, Kabisi. You're welcome. Thank you, Kabisi. Doctor, may I introduce you to His Royal Highness, Oba Hezekiah Abani Konda, the Olu of Ifewara Kingdom. It's nice to meet you, Kabisi. You're welcome. Thank you, Kabisi. You're welcome. Uh, this is my daughter, the princess. Taiwa Baniconda, and this is uh, Prince Shogun, he's a prince from Hawaii, Elisha. Yes. And he's also my in law. Very soon they are going to marry themselves. Ah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, my son. What are your plans for Ifewa? Kevin, I intend to do my best for this community, um, ensuring the wellness of this community is guaranteed. You're welcome. Let's go. Come. Let me entertain you. Take. Um, okay. Now, 
Now you take this. Okay? Take this to the metro. She'll give you some drugs. Alright? Now don't stress yourself too much. You'll be very, very fine. Okay? for my high team Lagos somewhere around last year. I think I saw you in one of those hospitals. <laughs> I, I, um, I, um, I, I live in, in Patakot. I've lived in Patakot all my life. I school there. You know, so I've never been to Lagos, let alone um, Lagos Hospital. Oh, yeah. Sorry. People look alike. Yes. <laughs> Told him, take care of this place for us. Because all the youth compass that are being posted here, they usually abandon this place because they prefer the city. So please. Well, I like to give you my word. I'll stay to the end. I like it here so far. I with the support of people like you. Okay. Oh, my support? You have it already. Kills are a fine year student, microbiology in the university. Oh. That sounds interesting. That means you're a professional colleague. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Take it. Alright. Regards to the Oba. Next.
Igwe. Yes, it shall be well with you, Madams. Any news yet? Igwe, there is no new development yet. about uh, Barrister? Has he made any useful statement? I have interrogated him properly and I'm convinced he's innocent. Igwe, I've told you that the Barrister has no hand in this matter. The world today is bad, but it has its limits. So, where is my son? Igwe, we've assigned detectives to the job. You know, this is not a case of a missing person. Because he willfully left a letter and walked out of his house. So, I should forget about my son? The hair applying to my throat? The prince of Oblokino? I should forget him because of useless letter you people said he wrote. Letter you knew that somebody could have written and got it planted. You want me to forget about my son? Igwe, I did not say so. We are working on it. Just give us some time. Or do we put in some advertorial in the newspapers? No! No! What will my fellow chief say? That the hair apparent to overlooking on his missing or what? Mbano! And I make him! No! I'm not saying that I think I Look! You must find my son! You must find my son! But he's in a body! 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 Go and get my son! I quite agree with you, Igwe. For security reasons. I suggest we stay underground. I believe you will contact Barista. That is your business. That is your business, DSP. Go and get my son. Go and look for my son. You may not fool. You may not fool. You can't be the government of Haji. Not in this open kingdom. Look at two people. Because you said you wrote one useless letter. We can be written by anybody. I've got him planted. Come, go. Go and look for him. Okay, good. Don't tell me this nonsense. No, 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 Let them do their job. Abies, you're welcome, my son. How are you? How are you? Sit down. <coughs> Um, what is it that you want to tell me? Kabiesi. My father told me that when the ear of a corn is ripe, you know by me looking at it. Yes. That is correct. Mm -hmm. He also told me that when the fruit is ripe, it falls on his own. You are correct. That is correct. I'm convinced that my relationship with Princess Taiwo has ripened enough. And I'm here to seek for permission to initiate traditional introduction that will lead to marriage. You have spoken well, my son. I chose that uh, you were brought up properly. Yes. And then uh, in Yoruba language, there's an adage that says, Omo ta ba bini li omo, ta koni li omo na, tu pam ba ba storwe li kuni la kai. That is the words of the elder, and is the words of wisdom. <laughs> What is it? Come here, see. Come here, see. It's your second wife. 
<laughs> she's having a severe stomach pain. And now she has fainted. Ah, fainted. Ah, yes, come here, let me go. Yes. Just for a moment. Instead of a womb, the pregnancy is growing in her fallopian tubes and they are ruptured at this point. Is it very bad? I'm afraid, Mommy. In fact, if she's not operated upon in the next one hour, she will die. Oh, no, 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 you see, our case requires a professional surgeon. Besides, this, this center is not equipped enough to handle such a case. Then let's take her to the nearest hospital. That should be UCH, Ibado. And it's three hours away from here. Doctor, please do something. She'll die before we get there. Ah, Master Ben. Master Ben, Mo. Master Ben, Mo. She won't die. Doctor, please. That's the one. All life that I have this. Please, help me. Well, uh, okay, okay, I will, I will help out. You know, I'll perform the operation. That's the only choice we have anyway. Um, Major, now you go ahead and prepare the, uh, the patient for, for the theater, okay? Doctor, this is a huge risk you want to take. Remember this is a primary health center, and if you must take an operation like that, you need blood transfusion, and we don't have any here right now. Well, yeah. listen, that's, we do not have a choice here. Do you understand what I'm saying? We do not have a choice. Look, I've performed uh, emergency laparotomy uh, cases in the past, and I know what I'm talking about. We must operate upon her, except we want us to have her death. Ah, no. Okay. Okay. Ah, make okay. sure. Oh, yeah. So you go ahead and uh, get her ready. Oh, yeah. Right while I get myself ready. Oh, yeah. Ah, no. No. Thank you very much, Dr. Alice. 
Kabir, you see, we're very happy to hear this. Well, let's just give God the glory. Can we see her now? I'm afraid she's sedated at the moment. Can we just see her? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Yes. I, I didn't know it's such such an important um, uh, landmark. Very, very bland. Wow. Very, very, very white like that. And there is a tree I need to show you about. And you see that tree over there? The one over there? Yes, it's a very powerful one. Really? It's medicinal, yes. Medicinal? Yes, different kind of herbs can be derived from it. Really? Yes. I need to, I need to... <laughs> That's good news. You are healthy. Yeah, I, I, need you need that. <laughs> I need to, I need to, I need to check course, it out. Yes, yes, to... yes, yes. That right. one over there? Yes, yes. That's, That's, That's nice to know. Okay. This, this is a very interesting look. I love, look, this tour is so, so, so wonderful. Say a big thank you to you. Um, I now know this village um, a lot better. So much thanks for the tour. All right. So take care of yourself. All right. You too. Bye. 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 -bye. We talked about it now. We discussed it. Oh, uh, sorry. I don't think I can go with you anymore. Why? Please. I'm not feeling too well. Why, Taiwo? Why? What do you expect me to tell my friends? I don't care what to tell your friends. All I know is that I'm not feeling too well. Taiwo, what is wrong with you? What's really wrong with you? Ever since you met that stranger, you have completely changed. Stranger? Who's that stranger? That's doctor at the hospital. Excuse me. If you care to know, Dr. Joe is not a stranger to me and my family. Because he saved my stepmother's life, okay? Because he saved your stepmother's life, is that why you throw yourself over to him over and over again? What do you mean throwing myself at him? I was just trying to show appreciation and that was her. She said, why are you insulting me? Why would I insult you? Is that the way you talk to me now? When do you start dictating how I relate with people? God. Why would you know you're a princess? I know I'm a princess. And I have a dignity to protect. So please, let this be the last time you come to my father's house to insult me, okay? Carry yourself as a princess, I will. Go and get dressed. Let's go to the party. Excuse me.
Hello. You're welcome. Please sit. Thank you. Wow, this is this is quite a surprise. I... Hey, what's the matter? You look moody. I'm not happy. So that's why I come around to confide in you as a friend. What could possibly be wrong? You have everything anybody can imagine. You know, you got your dad, you got your mom, you got a handsome prince. You guys are about to get married. That exactly is the problem. How do you mean? I don't know why people don't understand when you give them red lights. Um, I'm afraid I, I don't follow. You see, my parents want me married to Prince Shego. But I don't love him. You know, that belief is that he's a prince, I'm a princess, so we should extend the royal blood. But I don't love him. I want to marry someone I love. I'm not like that. I want to marry a man that I love for who he is. Look, I am... Um, I must say that... Shagun... I think he's, he's okay. He's, he's a nice guy. Look, just look at it this way. Look at Shagun with the eyes of an ordinary person. You can see him as an ordinary person. And um, I'm sure the love will come. Okay? Just, just give the guy a chance. You never can tell. It's too late. Too late. Why? Because... Because... Because I'm in love with someone else. Wow. No, that's a hard one. But, but I have to go now. Okay. All right, look, just take it easy, okay? Everything will work out. Thank you. From my bedroom. Excuse me. My 24 carat gold necklace. Katie, you know that ever since we moved into this house, I have never entered your bedroom. How's this rubbish? Is there another woman in this house except both of us? Uh, Is there? Uh, Kate, I'm sure it will do us good if you go back inside and look for your chain properly. Oh, so what you're trying to say is that I am blind? That I didn't search properly before coming to ask her? Is that what you're trying to say? Kate, are you calling me a thief? Oh, please! So this, it has come to stealing things in this house. Stealing my things in this house, is that it? But let me tell you something. There is a limit to generosity. And this limit has really stretched beyond repair. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that both of you are no longer wanted in this house. Are you trying to throw us out of Well, you can bloody call it whatever you want. That's your bloody business. Because right now I work full time at the hospital and I don't need any form of distractions from anybody. Kate, it's unfortunate you cannot ask him to leave this house. Because you were not the person that asked him to come in in the first place. And you're not in a position to say anything. You don't even know the condition in which he was let into this house in the first place. Unfortunately, you do not own this house. So you cannot ask him to pack out. See, we've had enough tough time. So it will do us good if we do not further complicate what's on the ground. So please go back inside and look for a change. I don't believe that you're taking the whinings of this brat seriously. What is the problem? Are you afraid of her or something? You must be very stupid, Stacey. Yeah, you are totally out of your mind. Listen to me. I have tried so hard to tolerate you for so long. But listen to me. If you step out of your limits, I will put you exactly where you belong. Kate, okay, please stop. Oh, please. I will not stop. Stop this. That is the problem. Ah, what is wrong with you? You just wake up and then you just talk any stupid thing. You say anything that comes out of your, 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 your paper thing mind. Who exactly do you think you are? Excuse me? 
Are you talking to Who me? Who do you think I'm talking to, dumb skull? Who do you think I'm talking to? That is the problem. They have so massaged your ego that you have... I mean, you're suddenly beginning to think and believe that you are somebody or something. But let me tell you, my dear, the worst mistake, the greatest and gravest mistake that your friend will make is to bring this embodiment of course into his life as a wife. That will be his quickest journey to an early grave. As for me, I'm out of this house and I will only see you when you make up your mind to leave this place. No, that's, 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 that's it, no. That's it, you're taking this thing out of my house. I'm going nowhere. I'm so sorry dragging you out so late. Oh, don't worry. Hope there's no problem. Well, um, not exactly. Not exactly. Um, <laughs> you see, my people have this saying that except one speaks out, nobody knows what's on the person's mind. You know, you and I have been friends for some time now. Just like you. I've fallen in love with someone. First time it's gonna happen to me. With who? Someone so special. Someone so beautiful. In here and outside. Someone that, that embodies what a true woman should be. Someone that makes my soul a cock. It's <laughs> someone that looks just like you. Like me? Because it's you. Look, don't get me wrong, okay? I. I know that you're in love with somebody else. Okay, I'm not saying this for you to change your mind and all that, but it's just to lift this weight off my my shoulder. Did you understand? I I I it's just to unburden my soul. I just had to say it. So please don't get me wrong, okay? You are in love with me? I told you I'm in love with someone else. Yes. That's someone. Teach you some Hebrew words, mm. and you're gonna teach me some Yoruba words. Okay. And that way, um, you'll be able to speak um, Hebrew language. Okay. And same thing here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Okay. Now, um, let's start from the simplest. Okay. Okay. What now? Oh. 
what? What does that mean? It means how are you? Okay, I'm fine. So, I'm fine. <laughs> how, how do you say that in your word? Okay, it's Bawoni. Bawoni. Okay, so what would be my reply if you do that? I say Odima. Oh, Odima. Odima means I'm fine. Ah, okay. So, okay, tell me. How do, you, how, do, how do you say that in your word? Um, I do pray. I do pray. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, that Danny. Oh, really? That Danny? Mm -hmm. Which okay. like, whichever one you are comfortable with. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, I do. Uh, uh, Bawoni. Uh, I'll ask you. Bawoni. Oh. <laughs> Bawoni. Uh, I do. I do, do pray. Okay. Yeah. I do. Uh, I do my. Oh, yeah. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Your next part to <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay, let me, let me give you another one. Okay. If I saw him. What's the meaning of that? It means I love your style. If I if I if I so poem. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so tell me, tell me, how do you say that in your uh, mm, mm. Um, Come on. Uh, um, Come on, I can't wait. Uh, <clears throat> don't chicken out now. <laughs> Hurry up!
anything to do with her she will lose her entitlement as a princess and you are there messing yourself up with the doctor a commoner the cabbage said I should bring you to the palace okay go I'm coming I said move it now cabbage wants to see you in the palace because I've been away in the Jabode you think you can come around here and mess up with a commoner I said move then I shamed off herself you are here messing yourself up, the princess. I said, move it. And you, the princess is my cousin, more like a sister to me. If I see you near her again, I will kill you. Bloody common. Stay with your uncle and delicate until that your doctor of yours leave. Okay? Oh, father, can you see? Please, I, I don't want to go to Ibadan. Please, okay. Mama. Go now. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please. So what do you want me to do? Kabisi, please let me talk to her. She won't see him again. Or rather, Kabisi, confine her within the palace rather than send her to, to a delicate battle. Kabisi, please. Alright. You better go and do that now, yeah, right away. Please. Stop seeing him. Mama, but I love him. You can't. 
can't love him, my oh, daughter. Oh, I can't. He's a commoner. And you are royalty. Two divergent ways. Moreover, royal blood must return to royal blood. But what if he is my destiny? God would have made him a prince equal to you. <laughs> you must stop seeing him and concentrate on Shegun. So your father will be happy with you. Or do you want to go to Ibadan? Your uncle Adeleke, you know he's a monster, you know that. So, so because Eze is not a prince, that is why everybody believes we cannot get along together. No, Mama, it is not fair. Hey, it's not fair. I let me go and tell your father that it's not fair so you can go to Ibadan. It's not fair. Okay. You will stop seeing him. I'll stop seeing him. I'll stop seeing him. Doctor on National Youth Service has performed a medical feat which has been acknowledged by the Nigerian Medical Association. By this act, the copper doctor has become the first copper doctor to perform an emergency laparotomy for an ectopic pregnancy. The feat, which occurred in a remote primary health center at Ifewara, was performed by Dr. A.Z. Pepo, a copper doctor posted to the area. Commenting on the feat, the Minister of Health, Dr. Leakey, says that such a feat was worth recording in the annals of medical achievements. 
In a further development, the Minister of Health has decided to upgrade the health centre to a general hospital and to equip the surgical theatre. He wishes that the whiskey doctor, Dr. Aze Pepo, would agree to head the hospital at Fewara after his... Speak with Dr. Joe. Oh, sorry, wrong number. No, hold on, hold on. Is that not a place called Ifewara? Uh, yes, but there is no Dr. Joe around here. Mm -hmm. I mean the, the doctor, doctor at the primary health center. center. I, 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 spoke with him, him I spoke with him once on his number. Oh, uh, that must be Dr. Eze Pepo. Yes, yes, something like that. Sorry. I just mixed it up in my head. Uh, so, who are you? My name is Romanos Namdi. I'm his friend from Lagos. Oh, he has mentioned your name once, but unfortunately he's not here. Do you want to leave a message for him? Uh, no, no, I don't want to leave a message, but please can I, can I get a description to Ife Wa? Okay, I'll simply get to Ife, then take another venue to Ife Wara. That simple? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, young lady. and tired of everything that is going on in this house. I am fed up. Fed up of what? You see, the prince just went for a self-discovery mission. You'll be back soon. Well, I am also going on a mission of self-rediscovery. What does he mean? Abandoning me in this place and wind up to God knows where? Oh, he expects me to just sit down and wait for him. Indeed. What about your job? Are you going to let that go too? <laughs> My job. So I still think that I wanted to be a nurse all because of the paint. It actually gives me the creeps. No, 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 you're getting dull. You see, nursing profession is an honorable one, and it's applauded world over. Oh, really? Well, I can't stand all those depressing sights of sickness, injuries, death, everything, smelling people that cannot even take care of themselves, and they expect me to tender to them. Of course I am not caught up for that kind of life. Just, just, just listen to me, kid. Let, let, me, let me talk to you as a friend for once. You see, I, 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 think, I think that you should really think of some things before you say them, because sometimes you, you come across as a, a thoughtless kid. Darling, I really don't mind if I sound like a kid right now. I am sick and tired of everything that is happening in this house. Kate, if you've made up your mind, well, I wouldn't stop you, but uh, as a friend, I would advise you to stay, because I know the prince will be back soon. Well, the prince knows where to find me. And you, since you've decided to be a perpetual parasite, well, you can take care of this place, but just make sure that you and those silly houseboys don't mess up this whole house, because surely I am coming back. Young lady, I will consider that an insult. You have no choice. He just disappeared like that. Nobody knows where he went. Uh, are you sure there's no other woman somewhere? Woman? Relax, it's your own. I remember when I had you, you came with drink and said your son is going to marry you. I know all of that, Mama. I know. I'm suspecting someone. And I'm suspecting that his friend, that yeah, Roman, that barrister that lives with him in Lagos. Barrister? Living with him? Hmm. You don't know. Hmm. He brought his girlfriend to even come and live with us. She's living with us in, uh, in Lagos. Oh. That one is busy dragging my kitchen and my space with me. What? 
You mean all this thing has been happening? You didn't tell me. And you leave your house. Oh, is that how you allow strangers to come to take over your house? It's not like that, though. I have complained several times to the prince, but he wouldn't mm. listen to me. It's not that the parents are his childhood friend, they grew up together, and that is like his mother, I know. I don't... My, I don't know what to do. All you have to do is to go back to Lagos and take over your position there. That's your house. I should go back to Lagos. Yes. That's true, Mama. Mm -hmm. so they might decide to sell that house. They cannot sell it. Just go back to that house. I want you to go back. I'm bad You know this lawyer is. Mm, Mama. Mama, you're very correct. You're very, very correct. Mm -hmm. I need to go back to you. Yes, my Chris, what? Your brother is found in love. Hey, that's my man, man. Yeah. Girl, so pretty, man. She's so nice and cute. But the dog wouldn't let it blossom. And who the heck is her father? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> the problem with the girl's father is he wants a prince for, for his daughter. And didn't you tell them you're a super prince? Well, you know, I just want the girl to love me for me. And though yeah, I trust Mr. you, Mr. I trust you, it's your way. You're still, you're still in the process of trying to discover yourself. But the fact is that it's so good to see you. Man, do you know the hell I've been through because of you? <laughs> but you know, it's not showing on you. You're still looking you so good. So? Yeah. Yeah. So your girl almost killed me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Your so girl sorry. almost killed me. It's so, 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 so good to see you. So good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you still doing here? <laughs> now that you've found love, you've rediscovered yourself, you've found yourself. So let's get the heck out of this place. Now listen. I still have one or two things to sort out here, okay? All right? Now, I was on my way to getting some groceries, but now that we're here, we're going back home. Do you have to finish, my hey. friend. Look, sorry. It's <laughs> a <laughs> people. <laughs> What's your name again, man? <laughs> man look, look. I, I, stink, I, was, I stink, I stink. Yes, I stink, yes, I yes. I yes we're going to go home, okay? We're going to have to leave home very early. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, God. The other day we went extensively to the neighboring village to look for him. Three days searching to no avail. Yeah? I, I, I've just sent my people across the border again and they haven't come. I believe he's alive. Bro. That young man was alive somewhere. Enjoy himself. Why do you... Romanus, what news have you brought this time? If we... I found the prince. What? 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 He said what? You found him? Where? He's in one remote Yoruba village, Igwe. Eh? Doing what? What is he doing at the remote village of your... What, what, where? Where, please? I, I think he works at the local hospital there. Is he alive? Yes, he's alive. Right. He's alive? Okay, this is good news. He's alive? Yes, sir. Please. Go and tell my technical department. The technical head. Tell him to prepare all the vehicles. We are going to the well and tomorrow. He said, that's his job. This is a good news. I said... Go and tell John, tell you John where he's done already. The head of driver is done already. Tell him, already. him to get on the vehicle straight. Tomorrow we are going to the Roman line. Oh, you have done well. Now I know that you are a worthy son of the soil. You have done lovely. You shall be well with him. So you are going with me tomorrow. Wherever I'm coming. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let me get you some money ready. Ah, this is scary. Very scary. First thing tomorrow morning.
they are not the shots. That's what I teach you. Teach you. Yeah, it must be here. Yeah. Let's go there. Kingdom in Igbo land. And uh, I have come here to look for my son. You are welcome. Thank you. I am of the Ezekiah. I'm Eflolai, a Paneconda, the Olu of Ifewa. You are welcome to my kingdom. Thank you, Your Highness. And uh, this is my Olori, the Queen. She's a Kendi, a Paneconda. Igbe! <laughs> It's not Igwe, it's called Igwe. Igwe! Ah, it shall be well with you. I shall, you are welcome. Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. Mm. What does your son do? Uh, he's a medical doctor. And I have information that he is here. His name is Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe? Sorry, the medical doctor we have here is... Uh, one doctor is a pepper. And uh, he's also a youth cop. That's him. He changed his name and his identity. Ah. Yes, he is my son. So is your son? Yes. Oh, my people, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The young man saved my wife's life. Please call me. Okay, right. Right. Yeah. Uh, once again, I say you are welcome to my kingdom. Thank you, Kavius. Please enjoy yourself. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, Kavius. We are already enjoying ourselves. <laughs> we are at home, Kavius. Uh, you are welcome. Uh, very soon, uh, Oluru will join us with our lunch, you know, so we can dine together. I know the baby, I know the baby. What do you mean? I have also sent for uh, our matron here, yeah? so he, she can come with the doctor, your prince. And we are also happy to announce that um, we came with some gifts, and that's what our lieutenants have gone to arrange. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Alright. Yeah. 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 He's uh, inside with his important visitors. It's very important. I have a message for him and it's very urgent. Does he know you're coming? Yes, yes he sent for me. Okay, Please. wait, let me come. Thank you, Kavis. 
Yeah, where is the doctor? Ah, see. Doctor has come. What? He gave me a letter for the princess yesterday morning, and he came back and packed the things. What, what was she talking about? What letter? Wait, 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 wait. wait please. Uh, where has he gone to? I don't know. Maybe it's in the letter. For the princess, Tadis. For Taiwo. Eh? Who is Taiwo? Taiwo? Let's sit down. Princess. Taiwo, I'm over. Yes, father. Let's go. Tadis, you. Tadis. Yeah. Um. This is Igwe. And his chief. He's a king also from Igbo land. Yeah. Uh, Igbo, okay. this is my daughter, the princess. Uh, I see. Uh, but I think I have to tell you that uh, this is uh, Dr. Uh, Eze, Pepu's uh, father. So Eze, too, is a prince of an Igwe. Why you are a princess of an old Yes, <laughs> you It shall be well with you, my daughter. It shall, it shall be well with you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right there. <sighs> I'm glad to tell you that uh, your son, the prince, and my daughter have been doing some. So, 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 uh, well, you have a letter. You have a letter. I think uh, the letter is from him. Uh, the prince. Tell you, my princess, I am going a way broken hearted. Full of sorrow because I have been declared not good enough for the only woman I ever loved. Maybe in the truth, I am not good enough for her since my own father from my childhood never considered me good enough to make a life for myself and be my own man and be my own man. Perhaps. I am not good enough for any woman. My princess, if we we ever met again, you will get to discover that there is a hole, a big hole in my heart, which only you can fill. And you can <sighs> <laughs> so, KBS, you said my son is not good enough for your daughter and you sent him away to an unknown place even after he has saved your wife no i did not you sent your own son out of your own kingdom and turn him to a wanderer. Hmm. You make him to become a commoner just because you cannot respect his feelings. Point of correction, Kabiesi. He took that decision on his own and left. And I did not send my son out of my kingdom. Oh, neither did I send him out of this kingdom. So where is my son? I'm supposed to ask you that question, Igwe. Father! Igwe! Casting of blame will not solve the problem now. He's gone. And that is it. I will go and nurse my broken heart. But I said thank you to both of you. Princess, please don't go. Please don't go away. You still have me. I'm your prince.
not going. I won't marry Shagun. I've told you. My heart is with the doctor. Don't worry, my daughter. Don't worry. We are your parents. And we know what is good for you. So dry your tears. Today is not a day for tears. Today is your day. Today is the day to make us proud, especially your father. And let him be proud of you too. Eh? Today is your day. There is nothing to worry about. Everything is going to be all right. Trust me. Eh? You know I love your papa. Yes, and we love you too, my princess. So don't worry about anything. Everything is going to be all right. Eh? And let me go and call your maid to dress you up. Huh? If we go down to them.
Cause you don't know 